So when it comes to making a website, there are so many website builders out there, and this can make it a difficult decision, but I've tested dozens and dozens of website builders, written reviews on them, and made full tutorials on many different website builders, and in this video, I want to help you decide which one is the best website builder to use. So we have six different website builders that are my personal picks from my own experience, the ones that I've seen other people use and found a lot of success with, and these are the ones with a proven track record. So if you're looking to make a website for your business or for an art gallery, a personal portfolio, or a fundraiser, whatever your needs are, one of these six website builders should do the job for you. So rather than just listing these in an order of one to six, I know that people have different needs. So in this video, I want to break it down into six different categories to help you decide which one's the right one for you. Now, before we get into the six different categories, I want to mention that in the description below, I'll have links to full tutorials for every single one of these. So all six of them, I have made a full tutorial. And on top of that, I'll have links to give you guys a free trial on each one of them. And to be clear, the tutorials are not like an online course. I'm not going to get you to click on that and try to ask for money. It's just a YouTube video. So it's actually on this channel. So it's completely free for you guys to do. Free trial, free tutorial. And hopefully at the end of this video, you'll have a clear direction for making your website. So let's get into the six categories I'm going to talk about in this video. Category number one is my overall pick, my number one blanket recommendation. If somebody just says, Mike, I want to make a website, this would be my go-to pick for them. Category number two is the best for e-commerce. So if you're looking to sell things online, create some type of online store, this is going to be the one that you'll want to use. Category number three then is the most flexible. And while we know that WordPress historically has been extremely flexible, some people are looking to do a little bit less of the back end, uh, finding a domain separately, hosting, stuff like that, and having everything more together. So that's what this one really is. Category number four is the most customizable while still being extremely easy to use. So it's a website builder that is as simple as making a Word document or a PowerPoint. Category five is another e-commerce builder. And this is one that if you're looking to make an online store, but you really care a lot about integrations, this would be a good option for you. And so when I say integrations, I mean, if you're not trying to just be a standalone store, if instead you want a lot of apps on there, you want a third, you want tons of third party integrations with MailChimp and Facebook and Pinterest, then this is going to be your choice. And then the final one, Honestly, even though all of these are very easy to use and all of these have the option to sell online and do all kinds of stuff like that, I know that some people are just looking to make a website as quickly as possible. And if all you're trying to do is make a billboard on the internet, a landing page, or maybe just a parking space until you build a full website somewhere else, this one's going to be the easiest to use. So starting off on category number six, the easiest to make. Honestly, this is the GoDaddy website builder. And in fact, I know GoDaddy makes a lot of different things out there. They've got domains and domain transfers and, and hosting and all kinds of different services that it might be kind of confusing what they actually do. But the one thing that they make very simple is their website builder. It's very simple, not a whole lot of features going on. And because of that, it's very easy to make a website. In fact, I even made a tutorial. As I said, I'll link it down below and it's how to make a website in 15 minutes. And in this video, I started off making an account. I started off getting my domain. I did everything within 15 minutes. And by the end of the video, I actually had a website that for the most part was ready to go. Now, granted, it's probably going to take you a little bit longer than 15 minutes because you're going to want to type out some extra paragraphs in there and add a few more details. But in general, you get the idea that making a website with GoDaddy Website Builder is very easy to do. So that's why I ranked this right here, the easiest website builder for a single page website. And of course you can build it out a little more and add some online shops and stuff like that, but it's not my go-to pick for larger websites. Really, it's going to be best if you want a single page, a landing page, or whatever you're looking to do. A simple website is good with GoDaddy. Now, moving up to category number five, this is the best e-commerce builder if you're looking for a lot of integrations. And I really emphasize the integrations there because eventually in this video, we'll get to category number two, which is my overall favorite e-commerce builder. And when I say e-commerce builder, I essentially mean a website builder that is really geared for selling online. And I mentioned that any one of these can really sell online, but some of them are especially geared for tracking inventory and having a larger library of things that you're selling. So, Category five, the one with the best apps and the best integrations, 
is actually Shopify. Now, Shopify is extremely popular. Tons of people use it, it's very easy to use, and there are so many different apps and integrations, partially because so many people use it, but again, so many people use it because there are a lot of integrations. So it's kind of a cycle that feeds on itself as you're getting more users and more integrations. And by integrations, I mean you can get apps on there to send text updates to people that buy your products, you can get things for helping with drop shipping, you can get integrations with MailChimp for email campaigns, uh, texted receipts, you can get all kinds of different stuff integrated very, very easily with Shopify to really build up your store into something that has a lot more functionality than you would otherwise make on just a basic website builder. So for that reason, Shopify is extremely powerful and it's a really great recommendation for anybody looking to make an online store, whether that's for your own brand, for a new thing that you're making, or maybe just drop shipping. That brings us to category number four, the most flexible website builder. This is the one that I said was as simple as dragging elements around the screen as if you were making something like a PowerPoint. And the winner of this category is actually Wix. As a lot of people know, Wix is very simple to use. You're able to just click and drag anything around the screen and customize your website in any way you want. And this makes it a very appealing option. It's ease of use, it's customizability, and it has a lot of integrations, again, with things like MailChimp, so you can really make a powerful website. But like I said before, this didn't quite win my overall number one ranking for the best website builder in general. And the reason for that is because while this is more customizable and you can drag things around more, it does make it a little bit more prone to breaking. And by that, I mean moving things around freely is great on your desktop, but sometimes that doesn't always translate well to a mobile device or a tablet or any other device out there. If it has a different aspect ratio, there's a possibility that your website doesn't look quite as good. On top of that, I found that the number one category, and we'll get to that in a second, has better themes and overall cleaner, nicer aesthetics in my opinion, but like I said, We'll get to that later on. If you're looking for something that's very flexible and you can really customize it in any way you want, if you're an artist, if you're, some, if you're somebody really looking, you have the vision in your head of how it should look, Wix is a great option. So the winner of category number three is one that's extremely powerful but is less known. And this is one that's actually growing very, very quickly as more and more people are starting to adopt this new style with building websites. And this is actually Webflow. So Webflow kind of combines a more technical aspect of website building with the ease of use of a website builder. And it kind of meets in the middle where if you want to build a website using just drag and drop stuff, you can absolutely do that. Or if you want some more HTML and CSS and more behind the scenes coding, you can do that yourself within Webflow. So Webflow is very powerful and very flexible as well. And it allows you to make some more dynamic and responsive websites. And to really flex how powerful Webflow actually is, uh, there's an entire library you guys can check out where it has a bunch of different, you know, very famous popular websites that are made, imitated with Webflow. So an example, I don't know how Apple makes their websites. I'm sure they have full stack developers, a whole team of people to make a single web page for the new iPhone 12 launch or whatever. And you can actually go and find somebody imitated that entire page with Webflow. So as you scroll down, things move around, they come up on the screen, and it just looks really, really cool. So Webflow has some really big, powerful capabilities that you don't see on any other website builder. Like I said, it, it takes a little bit more technical skill, but if you're looking for that extra level of control and extra functionality on your website, Webflow is an extremely powerful tool for that. So that's why it was a clear winner for this category. Uh, and it's one that, again, I have a tutorial, but it is going to be a little bit more technical. If you're just a local uh, like dentist or lawyer and you're trying to make yourself a website, Webflow might not be the one for you. Moving up to category number two, this is the best overall e-commerce builder. So if you're just looking to make an online store in general and integrations are not your main concern, then BigCommerce is going to be the best one. BigCommerce is one that I recommend for its price, uh, its competitiveness, and its scalability. And so the reason I say scalability is because it has a lot of really big tools in there that they, they're convenient when you're small and they do work, but if you plan to have a larger library of products eventually, if you're looking to sell maybe two or three things now, but eventually you could see yourself selling 20 or 50 or 100 different items, Big commerce will scale with you. And it's why a lot of big companies out there like Ben & Jerry's, uh, Skull Candy, I think Toyota, like a lot of different brands use big commerce. It's something that is very trusted 
and it's one that, again, I personally have really enjoyed using. So I'll have a link down below for BigCommerce. I think you have a two-week free trial with them if you use the link, but you also have a, a full tutorial so I can show you guys how to use it because uh, it might look a little bit intimidating at first, but that's just because it has so many tools available for when you're trying to manage your, your inventory or manage your, your, your products, your customers, whatever you're doing, there's a tool for so many different things. And that brings us to category number one, the overall best website builder, the most well thought out, the easiest to recommend, and that's Squarespace. And Squarespace honestly is one that I've been using for many different websites out there. And it comes in first here for several reasons. But the first one and the most obvious one is because it just has such great themes. So every website builder is going to make you choose some kind of theme in the beginning, but Squarespace themes I found are a little bit more well thought out, a little bit more modern, a little bit better looking, which leaves you with less work to do further on down the road. So once you choose your theme, you're able to just go and edit your whole website and it's going to look really good in a very short amount of time. On top of that, it's a little bit more curated, meaning that you can't move things around quite as much, but it's a lot easier to make. So that means that you're gonna make it on your desktop and it's pretty much guaranteed to look good on a tablet, on a phone, on any device out there, a TV. It's going to look good for anybody visiting your website. And for anybody who thinks that the majority of their website visitors are going to be on a desktop, I would urge you to reconsider. On most of my websites that I've ever had, at least 50% of my traffic has been from mobile devices. So it's important that you have a website that can, you know, very consistently works on many platforms. Now, on top of that, Squarespace also has a lot of other functionality. One of them is their ability to syndicate podcasts. So while a lot of website builders say they can have podcasts, many times it means that you can just have like the MP3 file on there, which doesn't actually get it on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify. And that's something that you actually can do on, on Squarespace. So Squarespace allows you to syndicate podcasts, which is required in order to have that, like I said, on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify. So if you want it to be listed on those, I actually have a full tutorial on how to do that if you're making a podcast website. And that's again in the description down below a link for that. But that's just some of the many things you have. You also have a great e-commerce platform here. So if you're looking to sell things for a personal brand, again, a very easy recommendation here. Like I said before, we have other better e-commerce builders in general, but if your main focus is making a website and then you also wanna have e-commerce, then Squarespace is going to be a good pick. So those are my picks for the six best website builders. Hopefully that gives you guys some direction and helps you decide which one you actually want to use. And the next steps would be to go down in the description of this video. As I said, you can click on the full tutorial and you can get a free trial by going through our link. So that'll be your next step to get started. I wish you guys the best of luck making your websites. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.